Good morning, everyone. My name is Nicole Chorney, and I'm an account executive here at Encore Business Solutions. And today I have with me Sandra Cummins uh, from Zeta Docs to talk about a really awesome solution for document and expense management um, in Dynamics 365 Business Central, as well as Microsoft Dynamics Nav. So I just wanted to uh, share a quick note before we begin. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to share them uh, in the question pane, which I believe is on the right side. Um, and then we're going to be sure to go through through all the questions at the end of the presentation. Um, but thanks for joining us today. So I'll hand it over to Sandra. Thanks so much, Nicole. Uh, my name is Sandra Cummins. I am the account manager here at Equisys. Equisys is the developers of ZetaDoc software. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Appreciate your interest in learning about ZetaDoc's document management and expense management. Working with our customers, I have learned that each organization is unique in their challenges on how to get the most out of Business Central and NAV. So today I'm going to talk about tackling the challenges that we hear from customers that relate to expense management, batch delivery, and the archival of important information within Business Central and NAV. The people that benefit the most from a document management solution are most often Business Central or NAV users primarily those who are based in the office and use paper uh, and or share network folders for a variety of reasons. So some things to ask yourself as I'm going through the presentation today is, does your organization face challenges because employees are not storing documents in the same manner, so they become difficult to find? Uh, this is something that we hear most often from our customers is the, uh, the challenge with paper file cabinets, and unstructured network folders, and people not storing consistently. Uh, another thing to ask is, does your organization have challenges when it comes to delivering reports out of Business Central or NAV? And does your finance team get inundated with expense reports at the end of the month that need to be rekeyed into Business Central or NAV for processing? Uh, these are some of the most common challenges that we hear, and I'm going to address those today. Over the years, we have developed techniques and solutions that have helped many organizations modernize their common processes like invoice delivery, employee expense approval, and allowing employees to be more productive by ensuring that they have access to the right information at the right time. Give you a little background about Equisys as a company and ZetaDocs. Our history begins with the foundation of Equisys 30 years ago. We have offices in London and uh, also here in the U.S. Our offices in Alpharetta, which is just north of Atlanta. We started with the development of ZetaFax, which is a fax software that allows users to send and receive faxes from their PCs. And then in 2007, we introduced ZetaDax uh, for NAV and now for Business Central. At the time, we introduced Datadoc starting with capture and delivery. And this came from conversations with partners and uh, customers who were looking for a way to easily store documents within NAV and Business Central records and uh, looking for ways to you know, easily batch deliver invoices to their customers. So we developed Datadoc. Uh, we were one of the first ISVs to receive accreditation from Microsoft. And uh, we do take that certification very seriously. Uh, we are a member of the Gold Club, and just a, a quick little add-on there is that we are now available uh, Business Central and App Source as well. So I'm going to start out with a brief introduction of Datadoc's uh, expenses, and that is our expense management software. I'll show you how customers are using Datadoc's expenses to eliminate the rekeying that finance teams often do at the end of the month. And also using our mobile app, it's, made, it's a lot easier for your field teams to create, submit, and also approve expenses while they're on the road. By using ZetaDocs expenses, you have greater control over your expense management process, uh, one with that mobility. With both the, um, the app that supports Android, Apple devices, uh, your, your common phones and tablets, you can very easily take a snapshot of a receipt, create your expense, submit it, and then it can be approved as well. Also with ZetaDoc's expenses, uh, reimbursements, including mileage, 
is fast and accurate. And uh, we've got our Google Maps integration, which I'll show you in just a little bit, that really helps with uh, that mileage calculation and that processing. The nice thing about Datadocs Expense is it is a cloud solution. Uh, so as a result, you are always on the latest version of the software, and it's designed so that both Business Central uh, NAV users and non-Business Central and NAV users can use it. So all, all expense uh, users with Datadocs Expenses, they don't have to be Business Central or NAV named users. Anybody in the company can use the solution. And of course, as it is a cloud solution, it updates itself when we add new features, which we do pretty much every month. It's already done automatically so that you do not um, you know, need to do anything on your end. Those, uh, those updates are there for you. And then we offer support from our US office, which means that you can get quick, direct answers to any questions you might have, keeping in mind uh, that Datadocs Expenses supports NAV 2009R2 through NAV 2018, as well as now Dynamics 365 Business Central. So let's take a look at it. So I've got some screenshots here that show you what the um, phone app looks like. So using the phone app, um, if you've got someone who's ready to create an expense, they would just hit on the phone app, and then this is the screen that they would see. Then they would just hit on this new expense tab here to create their expense. That's going to open up a screen like the one that you can see. And you would put in your description. So here for the example, I put in lunch with Acme. And the vendor is WC Kitchen. Uh, frequently used vendors will self-populate here. And you also have a drop down for all of the different vendors that you might use when you're uh, entertaining clients. The payment method is a corporate AMX card. We've got that in the example here. This is also can be created, uh, set up as a dropdown. So any of the ways that your employees are paying for expenses, whether it's um, corporate card, Visa card, MasterCard, AMX, uh, personal credit card, cash, all those different options can be added in the dropdown here for them to choose. Um, I am showing USD dollar as the default. For our Canadian customers, we would have uh, CAD as the default, and we've got many different currencies that your employees can choose from because we know, we, you know we've got a lot of companies that have employees that are traveling internationally. So if you had a, uh, an employee that was submitting an expense, uh, say they had been in Europe and they were using the euro, they would you know, choose from the drop down here the euro and it would automatically convert. Um, sticking with USD dollars though, for the example today, I put in the dollar amount, and that's $150.85. Now, right away, that triggered this orange warning of uh, exceeding the expense limit. And this is a really nice feature because that way, everybody is very clear as to what their expense limits are. So there isn't any guessing or I didn't know that my I exceeded. Right away, when they exceed their expense limit, they're going to see this right here. Um, so for employees that are submitting expenses and when they go over, uh, perhaps in this lunch with Acme, the uh, you know, submitter closed a big deal, then he could put his business case or she in the notes section, which is right below this right here. So let's jump to the next screen. Here they would put in the um, type. The expense type, we've got it under client entertainment. All the GL codes that you're using in both NAV and Business Central match the GL codes that we use with the Datadocs expense management software. Um, so that you can be very accurate when choosing your expense type. And then, of course, uh, we've put in some extra fields here, a field for the tax rate, and then also some dimension fields. Um, our customers that are using Datadocs expenses all use dimension fields. Here's just a few of the examples of the most common ones. Of course, that would be, um, you know, uh, your requirement. Uh, whatever dimension fields you're using, we would add here so that the employee can choose uh, to help you further narrow down the expenditure and the budget where it's coming from. And then lastly, the employee um, would add their receipt. And by clicking on this, the Add Receipt button here, 
a window is going to pop up. Um, they can either take a picture of their receipt or they can choose one from their library if they had taken the picture earlier. And they would add the receipt. And it's going to upload directly to the expense. After they add the receipt, then they would just hit save and that expense is completed. Uh, the next step would be to add any mileage. So again, you'd come up here to the new expense tab, you'd add your mileage. And then when you're done adding your mileage, you would hit the new report and uh, submit your report. Once the report is submitted, um, you, the employee is going to see a screen that lets them know who's going to be approving. So an example here, we've got Phyllis approving the report. You can have up to five approvers per employee. And then after Phyllis approves, it's going to go to April for processing. So this way it's very clear. Now after the demonstration today, if you would like, I've got a full a library of video links of short product demos that show the complete process using the phone app, and I'm more than happy to send that after the presentation. So at this point, uh, the employee would hit submit, and once they hit submit, Phyllis is going to get an email, and in the email there will be a link taking her to her dashboard on the Datadoc expenses site where then she can approve that expense. So Phyllis clicked on the link in her email, and it took her to her dashboard here. Um, here is that task of the expense that was just submitted. So she would hit here on task, and then once she does that, it's going to open up the expense. And here's what that expense looks like. So you can see the details of the expense right here. Um, let's just uh, going drilling into an expense. We've got our first expense here, and that is a Another lunch with Acme, this time at Ichiban Steakhouse, um, $50, and they exceeded their warning of $30. So we're just giving you a few examples of how you can use this feature. Um, so this would be, you know, looking at everything here, the expense type is lunch. She's looking at the dollar amount. She wants to make sure that the receipt matches. But it's nice because it's all here on screen. You can always enlarge and move it around if someone took a picture and the receipt is upside down, for example. And then looking at these buttons down here, if Phyllis wanted to uh, make any kind of changes, she can do that. So she's uh, drilling in now to the second expense, which is the mileage expense. And here's all those details again. Uh, using the little toggle here, we've got our Google Maps integration, and once she hit on that toggle, it showed her the entire routing that the employee took, because perhaps she knows another way that um, that person can, you know, be more efficient in their travels. But you can always look at the routing if you want, and again, you can uh, match up everything on the screen to the mileage. Um, now, hitting... Um, this button down here more because I've got some screenshots it's not going to show but she can hit this more button here and it's going to give her an option to either edit the expense so say if they didn't put in mileage under the expense type and they made a mistake and they put the wrong um, expense type in she can always hit more hit edit and make that change herself rather than sending it back to the employee and holding up the report she can also hit the more button and it's going to give her a choice to reject so if it doesn't look good, if um, there's any reason that she doesn't um, like the expense, uh, maybe in that previous one she didn't get a strong enough business case because he exceeded the expense limit, she can reject that particular line item without rejecting the entire report. So again, the idea is to not hold up the rest of those expenses that were submitted. But she can reject and then an email goes back to the employee letting them know that they need to make the change that she puts in the notes. Um, or she can approve. And once she hits approve, then um, she's going to see a full detail of that report once more. And of course, she can always approve as well from the um, dashboard if she doesn't want to drill into each expense and she just gives it a review and there's no orange warnings, she can go ahead and, and approve it without digging in. But most times, uh, approvers and processors really want to see it and make sure it's all good. Um, this screen here shows you a full detail and the full history. So once that expense report was approved using web services and our direct integration, 
into both NAV and Business Central, uh, we created purchase invoices. So you don't have to do that. They're automatically created as soon as that report is approved. And we've even created two, one for the reimbursable, which is the mileage, and one for the non-reimbursable, which goes back to the corporate card. This way it makes it very easy um, to just seamlessly approve it and move on, and those purchase invoices are already created. So then all you would need to do is go into NAV, and you can uh, see the <clears throat> purchase invoice or go into Business Central, you see the purchase invoice, and you can post it from there. So that gives you a brief overview of Datadoc's expenses and how the software can be used to very quickly move through that process. Um, you know, getting rid of uh, the, Excel spread, the Excel spreadsheets, paper clips or stapled, you know, receipts that are attached. There's no rekeying because once those uh, purchase invoices are automatically created, all that information carries over, the GL accounts, the amount, uh, everything that you need, so you can just process it without having to add or rekey, create that invoice. And uh, also with expense management, uh, in the example I used, Today, I showed that how we automatically create purchase invoices, but we can also uh, have a flow through jobs. We have customers that want it to flow through jobs um, or go directly to a journal entry. So we're very flexible with what you want created, how you want that workflow created uh, within NAV or Business Central. So uh, that gives you an overview of expenses. Now let's move on to ZetaDocs Capture. And ZetaDocs Capture is a software that allows you to store documents related to the transactions that are crucial to your business. As we know, it can be really frustrating sometimes to locate a specific document from a directory that stores unstructured data. Um, what we've got with ZetaDocs Capture is the ZetaDocs Fact Box. And we put that fact box on all the various business central or nav uh, pages that you want to be able to store supporting documents. Uh, that way you can easily store documents in both sales and purchasing records, uh, but other records as well. Um, for example, you can store documents in the cash receipts journal, um, jobs, production orders, fixed asset card, ledger entries. These are all areas where you can store your important information. And this, of course, um, gives all of your NAV users or your Business Central users access to those documents where they can pull them up and view them. Uh, with ZetaDocs Capture, uh, it supports the phone, tablet, and web client, which again allows for that um, mobility while on the road. And we do have customers using ZetaDocs Capture uh, on the road, taking pictures, um, storing them within NAV records, if, for example, if they're out on a field site. So let's jump into our Business Central environment and take a look at um, what that looks like and how you can actually use ZetaDocs to drag and drop. So what we've got here on the screen is our sales order list page within Business Central, and over here is that ZetaDocs fact box that I was talking about. Um, you can very easily go into your Outlook and drag and drop any supporting documents and emails into the fact box here. So let me go ahead and I am going to pull up my Outlook here. And let's take a look at that so we can show you what that looks like and show you that drag and drop. So I'm moving it over here. So here's our outlook. And we've got an email that came in. Here's a purchase order email. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into the fact box release. And it's going to store there. Um, I'm going to come down here to our School of Fine Art. And once I open up the School of Fine Art, um, sales order, you're going to see that purchase order that was dragged and dropped into the fact box. So here we've got the sales order here. And we're going to go ahead and hit that. And we're going to open this up.
And that should, here we go. And that's what that email looks like with the purchase order attached. Now you can always drag and drop the attachment as well. Um, some people like to drag and drop the email. Some like to drag and drop the attachment. Um, all different document types can be stored here in the fact box. Uh, we, we just drag and drop that email with the PDF or the PDF directly. You can drag and drop photos, audio recordings, videos, design specifications, CAD designs. Uh, there's all different types of documents that can be stored here in the fact box, not just your usual PDFs, Excel, and, and Word files. Um, also, what's kind of nice with the fact box is you've got this little toggle here. So say you uh, had a, someone had stored a, a document to a network folder and you want to get it into the fact box. You would just here, you know, click on the up arrow. You can see here how it opened up my network and a uh, network folder and I just double clicked on that invoice as an example of how you can um, also store documents that are in your network in the fact box. So that's a nice feature as well. Now on this sales order, we've got all these documents that are now stored in the fact box. When the sales order becomes a sales invoice, and then when it becomes a posted sales invoice, all of these documents that I've stored are going to flow through so that you only have to store once. And we do that with record mapping. Um, so uh, when this becomes a sales invoice, posted sales invoice, everything you see here is going to show up on the fact box on the sales invoice and posted sales invoice. And we can do that um, for different types of documents. A um, couple other things to show you with ZetaDoc Capture. Uh, we do have a, a date stamp, a time stamp. So when you come over here to these three little dots, you click on it, you can see the date that it was added, the date and time that the document was added. If the uh, document box fills up or there's some duplicates, you can always hit delete. And that's going to delete that document that was stored as well to keep that clean. Uh, lastly. When I dragged and dropped the purchase order over into the fact box here, using metadata tags, we also stored that in our ZetaDocs library in SharePoint Online. We recommend SharePoint as a repository outside of Business Central and NAV so that your non-Business Central and non-NAV users can access those same documents that you're storing here in the fact box. Um, when I dragged and dropped, not only did you see this um, PO show up here in the fact box, it also automatically stored in the um, PO or that customer name you decide folder in SharePoint so that it's stored in two different places so that everybody has access to that supporting document. And uh, we recommend SharePoint as well because it is permissions-based. So it gives you that extra security of your important documents as they're being stored. And uh, we find this uh, is very helpful because not only can your Business Central and NAV users go into various records, pull up documents here and view them, um, those that don't have those Business Central and NAV licenses can go into the SharePoint DataDocs library and do the same. Uh, I think that covers a nice brief overview of ZetaDocs Capture, how you can store your documents within various records, how they will flow through based on your posting routine, and the additional storage outside of Business Central and NAV. Also keeping in mind uh, that this does support the phone client as well as the tablet. So that gives you a brief overview of uh, ZetaDocs Capture and how it can be used. Now I did show you in Business Central, this is the same um, technology, the same functionality applies with NAV as well for the NAV customers who are on the call today. So I'm going to jump out of here and we're going to go back to that PowerPoint and talk a little bit about um, sending documents out of NAV which we know is also uh, something that our customers are always wanting to do and they want to do it more efficiently than just one at a time. Um, using ZetaDocs delivery, we often hear from our customers that sending documents out from BC, our Business Central and NAV is an important part of their business. 
as this is where they need to send quotes to generate revenue or send out invoices to receive payments. Using Datadocs Delivery, you can send out your quotes, invoices, statements, uh, remittance notices and other types of documents in a batch as opposed to single send. When the batch emails go out, the system is designed so that each document is sent to the appropriate contact and allows you to personalize the email message. You can personalize the content of batch emails to match the documents you are sending uh, by creating your own templates. We have the Datadocs template wizard and our customers are always using that to create personal messages when those emails go out. And I'll show you an example of what that looks like. So with Datadocs Delivery, you can schedule a batch of invoices, for example, or other types of reports and documents to go out. They will all go to the appropriate contacts. Um, those are set up in the customer card. And you can personalize those emails using the template. And then the template will send it all out at the same time with a consistent message. So let's now go out of here and we're going to go back into Business Central so I can show you what that looks like. Let's come back up here and we're going to come out of sales orders, go back into sales, and this time let's hit our posted sales invoices and show you how you can very easily create a batch. So now we're on the posted sales invoice page. You can see we've got our document back box here. When um, all invoices or other reports and documents are sent out of NAV, uh, once they're sent, they're going to store here in the fact box as well. So how do we create a batch? Let's come on up here to the Actions tab, and you can see we've got our Zetadocs area. I'm going to hit Send over here. And when I hit Send, I'm going to see this little filter come out. So for the example today, I'm going to choose a small range of invoices that I am going to want to send out all at the same time. So let's go with a 180. Here we go. So we've got our range of invoices. I'm just going to hit OK. And once I do that, it's going to uh, pull all those invoices over that I indicated I want to send out at the same time. It's going to show me the screen here now. It shows me all the invoice numbers that I indicated I want to send out, the company name and the contact name of where they're going to. I do have this set up by delivery method uh, to all go to email. For those of you that have customers that still want to receive a hard copy, you can also have this delivery method set up to print so that uh, those invoices will print out and you can mail them. And then here, it's showing me that we're going to use the Datadoc sales invoice template. So all of these are going to go out at the same time. Not only does that help save you and your um, your team considerable time rather than having to send out one at a time, but it's great for the customers because they're receiving one email with all of the invoices attached rather than one at a time. So it, it's a nice time saver for both sides. By hitting this con validate email button up at the top here, I'm now ready to send out this batch. And I'm just going to hit OK, and the batch is going to send. So let's go jump back into Outlook here. There we go. Let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to show you an example of one of the uh, batch that I had sent out earlier so you can see what those invoices look like. Here, I'll just open this up. That's easier. Okay, so here is, you can see, I, the batch I just sent. Here's one right here. Let's see what that looks like. And here's all of those invoices that are attached. And what we did with using the Zetadocs template wizard in the subject line, we put the invoice number with all of the actual numbers, uh, a little uh, dot, 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 letting them know that there's more than three invoices attached, and the customer name. So it's very clear. And again, you can decide how you want that subject line to read. We have all of our sales invoices attached, and we also attached a fixed document, uh, terms and conditions of sale. Using the Zetadoc template wizard, not only do you set up your messaging, but you can also add a fixed document so that every time the invoices go out in this example, that terms and conditions is going to go out too. 
so that nobody has to remember to add it. It's automatic. Uh, another way you can use this, say you're sending out sales quotes and you want to add a marketing flyer or a promotional flyer, you can add that in as a fixed document. So there's all different ways that you can send out from uh, both Business Central and NAV and add different types of fixed documents that you want also attached so that nobody has to remember to add it. Jumping down here to the body of the email using the Zetadocs template, we've created a very, very simple message here for the demo today. Um, you dear Sandra Cummins, please find attached your invoice and then the um, signature at the bottom. Of course, you can make it a little bit more elaborate, but this way, every time these invoices go out, no matter who they're going out to, they're going to see this same message. Very consistent. It keeps it professional. And um, you just don't have to worry about it. It's done. So that is what one of those emails look like when it's sent by batch to your customer. So let's kind of come out of here, and we're going to go back into the PowerPoint. And let's talk about next steps. So now that Zetadocs Delivery Essentials and Zetadocs Capture Essentials is available on AppSource as well as within NAV, uh, we can offer document management for both Business Central Cloud deployments in addition to expense management, which has already been available. If you are considering upgrading to Business Central, Zetadocs includes features to ease the upgrade to Business Central for Zetadocs for NAV customers. You can upgrade to Business Central, maintaining all of your Zetadocs settings, Zetadocs rules, and Zetadocs templates. Uh, we know that each company has its own challenges, and as I've shown with Zetadocs Capture, Zetadocs Delivery and Expenses, each system has the flexibility to meet your requirements. Um, our project lead, her name is Britt Mora, she does our implementations uh, along with the Encore team, and um, you know, we can configure the system, how you need it to be configured, and if you'd like to explore the functionality of Zetadocs further, I encourage you to arrange a demo. Uh, during the demo, we can be more specific with your requirements and learn a little bit more about how you are currently either um, storing your documents or sending out documents or managing your expenses, and we can you know, come up with suggestions on how to use the system to make that more streamlined for you. Um, uh, in addition to the demo, I do have several small product videos, which I will send after the presentation today, and you can always re you know, review those product videos as well. But we're always here to help, as well as, of course, your Encore account managers. So this concludes my Zetadocs document management and expense management webinar today. Uh, for Encore customers, we are offering discounted pricing on Zetadocs software uh, through December 20th this year. And for those of you, if you are going to be attending the um, BC NAVIG Summit in Orlando in a couple weeks, we will be there. I invite you to stop by our booth, booth number 1419. Uh, we'd be more than happy to meet you and say hello and answer any questions that you might have. And then here at the bottom, I've got my email address and my direct phone number if you'd like to reach out at any time. Um, so this, I'm just going to open this back up to any questions uh, that may have come in. Hi, Sandra. I'm looking at the question pane, but no questions have come in yet. Okay. And um, there's a lot of information to review. So after reviewing the webinar, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out either to myself or to your, your Encore account manager. Perfect. Thanks so much, Sandra. And thank you, everyone, for attending today's webinar. Um, as Sandra mentioned, if you have any questions, feel free to email us uh, at Encore at EncoreBusiness.com, um, and then we can connect you uh, with Zetadocs as well. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.